Lobelia is also called Indian tobacco. It has numerous curative benefits and it's been used by the Native Americans for hundreds of years to treat many different ailments. It's a well-known ingredient in traditional healing systems. Though it contains the various medicinal properties, it also has toxic properties and can be poisonous when consumed in excessive amounts. Lobelia helps to calm a fast heart. It slows down the heart rate by increasing the arterial tension and the force of the heart. It can also help a fatty heart or an overdilated heart. Due to its diuretic nature, the lobelia is commonly used to promote healthy urination. Healthy urination helps to remove toxin buildup. It purifies the blood and prevents kidney stones. The whole plant has this diuresis inducing property. Lobelia is also used to treat depression. It's a muscle relaxant, but it can interact with certain anti-anxiety and antidepressant medication. Abundant sweating helps to flush toxins out of the body and also to reduce a fever by cooling the body. In these cases, inducing perspiration helps to cleanse the body. It was the botanist and healer Samuel Thompson who first used the plant as a sweat inducer in the early 1800s. Lobeline, a chemical found in the seed of lobelia, is an alternative to nicotine. Although it's not as addictive as nicotine, it can help a tobacco addict getting rid of a nicotine addiction. Lobelia contains respiratory relaxant and emetic properties, and the lobeline is a potent respiratory stimulant. The herb has a depressant action on the autonomic nervous system and on the central nervous system. Many traditional medicine systems have used lobelia to help to reduce muscle spasms. The leaves and the flowers are used in many medications. It's known to treat a jaw disorder, where the movement of the jaw becomes stiff. It's used only as an external application. The oral consumption or the application on the broken skin can cause adverse effects. In the case of food poisoning, lobelia is administered in a higher dose to induce vomiting. This can help to clear the stomach of toxins, like excessive alcohol consumption and food poisoning. Research shows the lobelia can be used to help to treat respiratory illnesses. Herbalists say the herb is beneficial for bronchitis, whooping cough, asthma and pneumonia. The lobelia is also an expectorant and this means it helps in clearing mucus from the respiratory tract and the lungs. Lobelia is known to work well for anxiety attacks. A few drops of a lobelia tincture can help to calm the nerves. The herb relaxes the muscles, reduces cramps, tensions and spasms. And it also works on the respiratory system to enhance calmer, deeper breathing. The root of the plant was used by the Iroquois to treat venereal disease, ulcers and leg sores. The leaves were smashed and they were applied as a poultice to treat an abscess on the side of the neck. The leaves were rubbed on sores, aches, stiff necks and chapped places. It's also said the plant material burned as a natural bug repellent. The Native Americans used the lobelia to treat respiratory and muscle disorders and also as a purgative. The dried flowering herb and the seeds are anti-asthmatic, anti-spasmodic, diaphoretic, diuretic, emetic, expectorant and a nervine. The plant can be taken internally for the treatment of asthma, bronchitis, whooping cough and pleurisy. The alkaloids in the leaf stimulate the removal of phlegm from the respiratory tract. It can be used to improve earache. It's a good herbal remedy for seizing smoking addiction. It curbs respiratory discomfort like bronchitis, cold, breathlessness, pneumonia, congestion, asthma, spasmodic croup and diphtheria. It helps muscular troubles like sprains, swelling, sore muscles and even convulsions. It's an antidote to bee stings, scorpion and snake bites. In Ayurveda, it's used to treat alcoholism, insect bites, bruises, for autism, for the lungs, convulsions and for asthma. It's also used to treat bronchitis, abscesses and arthritis. It's used for earaches, cuts, bursitis, fractures and the mumps.
is used to treat a sty, for fatigue and for insomnia. Lobelia can be obtained in capsules, extract, infusion, tincture, or as a cream or a salve. It contains the alkaloid lobeline, and this has a similar effect on the nervous system to nicotine. It shouldn't be used during pregnancy or lactating. It can cause vomiting and even birth defects. The prolonged use can result in inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract. It might cause stomach ulcers, bowel problems and Crohn's disease. People who are suffering from kidney disease, liver disease and high blood pressure should avoid this herb. It can cause a rapid heartbeat in people with heart disease. An excessive dose can cause nausea, vomiting, drowsiness and even respiratory failure. Avoid if you have high blood pressure or a tendency to have fits or heart disease. It should be used with great caution and under the supervision of a qualified practitioner. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.